Born in Los Angeles in 1949, Ken Oster grew up at the beach and, in the 60s, caught right onto the sport and culture of the surfing range. A surfer himself, he also started his first career creating silkscreen t-shirts for many of the local bars in Long Beach. This now vintage surf art was the fine art of the beach culture. A talented designer, Ken was sought after to create graphics for many well-known companies and popular events. Everything from surfing expos to restaurant menus to the serographs for the Triple Crown of Surfing in Hawaii. Ken did it all and loved it. You know, I, I didn't go to art school to be, you know, uh, to become a painter. Uh, I went to, to a four-year college, um, took the basics at Long Beach State, and, and uh, you know, I dabbled in the arts in, the, in that uh, I took my illustration classes and I did all these things, but I never really had a chosen profession. You know, I never really said, you know, I want to grow up and be a portrait painter. I want to grow up and be a landscape painter. I want to grow up and be a, uh, a scene painter. You know, I, I never had time to do that because I was still having too much fun. As times and culture shifted, the market softened. And as Ken's wife Paulette described, Ken was a brilliant man who knew how to reinvent himself in business and did so many times with confidence. Ken and Paulette were together for 33 years before Ken's passing in January of 2016. But theirs could have been a missed chance romance. They had met at a mutual friend's jewelry store, where Ken and the jeweler were discussing the casting plan for the 1984 Van Halen World Tour ring that Ken had designed. Shortly after, Paulette gave Ken her phone number, but he lost it. Well, as fate would have it, he found her number, they found true love in one another, and together they created a life centered on their love of Jesus, their animals, and art. Loving the outdoors, plein air painting was a natural for Ken. Using his unique style to paint life as he saw it happening, making his artwork highly recognizable. Ken and Eric Rhodes enjoyed a long friendship. And Eric said what made Ken so unique was his ability to see the beauty in everyday objects. Ken received many honors for his artwork. Gold medals, first place awards, best of show. The list is nearly endless. He was the signature and founding member of the Laguna Plein Air Painters Association and hundreds of students traveled each year to attend workshops at Ken's studio to learn all they could from this iconic artist. When asked what kind of advice Ken would give to students and other artists, Paul Ed said his secret word to them was, edit. Don't put your crummy stuff out there. If you have one great thing, put only that thing out there and throw the rest away. He would also tell them, if you think you're great and your peers think you stink, you stink. And most of all, start with a strong foundation, a good roadmap. If a painting isn't working for you in the first 15 minutes, wipe it off and start over. Ken developed a passion to teach art to underprivileged children and, as part of Ken's legacy, this dream has come full circle through the Orange County School of the Arts led by Paige Columbia Odin, the daughter of Ken's original mentor, Richard Odin. You know, as you're painting, you're learning. And so you may like what you're doing, and then all of a sudden you've learned something and you go, gosh, this isn't as good as it, as it could be. Bingo, you hit a wall, you climb it, and you, you get to another level. I always had a saying that, you know, fortune favors the prepared mind. You know, never just go blow it off. If something that you do or something happens that's easy, really, for you, you just think about it for a while. Plein Air Magazine is honored to present the Lifetime Achievement Award to Ken Oster. <music>